the J Plus Pilot app, your companion for the Juice Booster 3. Yeah. You have already paired the Juice Booster with the app, but what else can the app do? We'll find out today. This is how the J Plus Pilot app looks. For those who haven't installed it yet, we'll share links for Google Play and App Store. Otherwise, QR code here, I have it here on my phone. We insert them here for you and the first thing we see is the homepage. For those who have used the J Plus Pilot app and it doesn't look like it yet, check for an available update. We will always provide new versions there. On the homepage, we see a good overview of everything we have installed in the app. At the top here is my load management group. There will definitely be a separate video for this because this topic is a bit more complex. And you can see my two installed boosters. This is the one from the car. The other one is lying here. Now let's initially proceed to the devices tab. And for that, I will connect the booster here in front of our table. It is important to mention at this point, this is only for this video now. Never charge a car with any kind of small extension cord. More sensors added to adapters to monitor plug. Not useful anymore as we lack knowledge of what's happening up there. For Juice Booster, there's a perfect 5 and 10 meters extension cable where the entire intelligence is extended. So now we come to the booster here. He is now connected to and with the WLAN. Now you can see the load management group here again. I will briefly click in so you can see it. Ultimately, you can assign a maximum amount of electricity for a location. That means, for example, you now have two parking spaces available for your car in your carport. But you know that both CE16 sockets are only protected with a total of 25 amperes. That means you could now create a group here with 25 amps. And if both boosters are plugged in and only one car is charging, the one booster takes 16 amps. If the second vehicle joins and also plugs in, they would both together require a total of 32 amperes. Your backup only provides a maximum of 25 amperes at that specific point. Your house would be overloaded. Smart juices, intelligence exchanges, info among each other and through the cloud, regulating boosters to perfectly distribute 25 amperes between them, ensuring your house's safety while charging your car with highest possible current. So, if you have this active booster here now, which is currently online, you have a wide range of settings options available here. I'll go through step by step. Above, we see Juice Booster 3 Air, yeah. its serial number, internal temperature, and the WLAN it's connected to. Additionally, we can observe the currently set amperage. I will provide an example by adjusting the dial to 6 amperes. You saw it here and also in the small animation above, this value has changed. So that I can show you this in a bit more detail now, I'm going to fake a car here. We have such small devices here. Using this, we trick the booster into thinking it's a car. So now there's a ready booster here. If I press here now, he thinks it has been plugged into a car. That's why it's ready to load here. Now the car indicates that everything is fine. I initiate the charging process and we observe on the booster how the charging process has commenced. The running light displays both the speed and the current amperes. Setting it to 8 amperes will result in a slight acceleration. The key difference is between 6 and 16 amps. Here you can see the adapter's maximum current and the number of phases it can be charged on when you look down. By the way, you can also see the phases up here on the booster. So the charging process can be monitored here. We now see the loading time. We are now loading here for about 56 seconds and we see that phase L1 is in use. If a real vehicle were connected here now, completely different values for energy and costs would of course be displayed here. By the way, about costs. Here in the settings, you can not only give the booster a different name next to the new WLAN, but also change the currency. That signifies Swiss francs, euros, pounds, and other similar currencies among others. Scroll left and right here, you'll see additional currencies. Here you can input electricity costs for further calculation. If you have a night tariff, no night tariff here now, I'll turn it off. Let's move on to the next point, the permission. Loading without activation means you take the booster, plug in, starts immediately, as you have seen. If booster is in place, in order to prevent unauthorized access, you need to secure it like a proper wall box. To achieve this, RFID cards were included in your delivery. I will take one presently. I am unsure if you can observe that the number is situated down here. 
You only need to input this number here. Initially, we must add the card. Currently, we're doing that. I'm now pressing here to add RFID card. BTW, they're included. If you have a day off or just at home, you can also add a chip. We now take this card further and enter the number. So, a number has been entered. The name of the card is video. Please make sure to save it for future reference. So, the data has been sent to the booster he knows he can activate with this card. I'd say, let's try it. The RFID card is in the booster and we've set it up so that we need the card for activation. This means that when we now plug the plug into the car, we see in the app to hold the card to the RFID reader. I'll do that now by simply placing them here. And as we can see, unlocked, the booster is charging, the car is charging, everything is charging. In the settings, you can manage your cards here, add new ones. We now have the juice controller here in this location. This is this button here. You can also assign functions to it, either no function at all, change the power level, then it works like the button on the booster itself. That means if you click on this link, it is essentially similar to a remote control for a cable. You can also set it to unlock the charging connector by holding the button during the charging process. Then the vehicle stops the charging process and unlocks when your key or mobile phone is nearby. We link you here the short for the update of the juice controller. There you can take a closer look at the function with the vehicle again. Here in the app, you can definitely set these different functions, but you can also assign both functions to the button. That's what you do in the end here because the booster locks the power setting option about 30 seconds after the charging process has started. Not anyone can change settings here. The difference is clicking here changes the value and later to unlock, you must press and hold until it is unlocked. The whole thing, if you have deposited an RFID card and also set it to RFID authorization, you can also unlock the power level and the charging connector with an RFID card so that no one can just mess around with it. So now you have actually configured the booster completely for yourselves. Down here, you can ultimately set that the app should override the dark mode or light mode of your phone. If you don't usually have dark mode on, you can do that there, etc. We've tested charging here, so we can also click left and see charging history there. I've turned on and off multiple times, so we observe charging processes. We can set a date range by clicking on the date where a charging process occurred. Can I see the charging processes down here? We also have the charging process with 51 seconds, where we recorded the video and charged correctly. There you can see there were also 0.06 .06 kilo out of flowing. The others are just these test charges with this small device. You can click on the data export there and then click on all possible settings here that should also be exported to ensure that all the necessary settings are included in the export. If you have done that, you can then choose the file type, whether it is an Excel, Apple, Numbers or whatever, a text file. You can then click on export in this location, press share, then send it via email, save it, send it to your fleet manager or whatever you prefer. Can you then read everything here? These were the settings for the booster. On the device page, you can also add additional boosters or load management groups. And below, J power means juice power. That is super interesting. What you can do here is you can buy a quota. For example, 1000 kilobolas. If your car is linked to the app, the power plant will generate the exact power you need for charging, ensuring an efficient and tailored charging process. Of course, you charge there and there the electricity is produced. This means that if you remove here, and add there, you balance it out and it's great because the power plant produces electricity for your vehicle at that moment. In the end, can you see how many other vehicles are using this currently? Two vehicles are being used. Loaded and currently producing five kilowatts for juice power. Join in to help us generate more electricity here. We don't sell electricity there. We basically only do the handshake via the app so that you can produce the electricity you need for your vehicle at the right moment. If you click on the info tab here, you will see all of that described in detail again, what I just explained to you. See reservoir, freestyle plant, account settings below, more info available on site. 
There you can see the app version, whether to share data, etc. High contrast for better app recognition. Just design light or dark, that was the J Plus Pilot app. I hope I could not only provide an overview, but also delve deeper. For cues, put them in comments, we'll answer there. Leave love, like vid, thank you, see you soon. Goodbye.